Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I make gulab jamun. Here's the list of ingredients that I used. I started off by making my sample syrup. I'm just going to add some water, some sugar, my elaichi, also known as cardamom, and I'm going to add some lemon juice just so my syrup wouldn't crystallize. I'm going to mix that all together and I'm just going to allow that to the boil for about 5 minutes. While that's boiling, you guys can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can give my video a thumbs up if you like it. And let me know in the comments if you, did, if you do try my recipe and how it came out. Now for the syrup, instead of using the cardamom powder like I'm using, you can also use the cardamom pots. I didn't have the pots, so I'm just using the cardamom today, the powder. My syrup is just about done, finished boiling, so I'm just going to set it aside and start making my milk balls. I'm just going to add my flour, my milk, my baking soda, and butter, or you can use ghee, but I'm using butter today. Butter. Butter. Yeah, so I'm just going to mix that together until it's like crumbly. And remember, you don't want to add too much butter, put directly one teaspoon of butter because the amount of butter you put in your milk balls determines how your balls fry. If you notice that your ball is breaking up when you add it to the oil, you added too much butter. So, when that's finished mixing, I'm just going to add my warm milk and mix that together until it combines and it's kind of sticky and forms a nice ball when i'm done there i'm just gonna set it aside for five minutes and then i'm gonna come back to it and mix it into my tiny little wrong balls So my 5 minutes is up, so I'm just gonna take it and start mixing it into balls. So I'm basically using a tablespoon and I'm just gonna compact that together, squeeze it together so it's gonna compact so it wouldn't have no air bubbles, no cracks in it, no nothing. So I'm just gonna mix that into some nice round smooth balls. I'm just gonna set that aside until I'm finished. Remember. What I'm doing here, it looks like if I'm playing with it, but I'm not playing with it. I'm compacting it together and rolling. So while you guys watching me do this, go ahead again and hit the subscribe button on my page. Give my video a thumbs up if you like it and tell me in the comments if you did try it and how it came out. I'm not playing with it guys. I promise you I'm not playing with it. As much as it was fun, I'm not playing with my galab. 
That's what you need to do. Squeeze it to compact it and just roll it together. When you're finished with the step, you need to add your oil to your pan and keep it in medium to low heat and add your balls one at a time. You want to constantly or continuously stir the balls or turn it around in the pan so it wouldn't get too brown on one side. You want it to cook evenly throughout. So as you see me here, I'm basically turning the balls. As I put it in, I'm turning. And that's what you want to do. I'm constantly stirring it. I'm just not leaving it to cook on one side. I'm trying to stir in each one of them as it fries. If you turn your back for a second, you might burn them. When you're finished making your frying your balls, you want to add it to the warm sugar syrup and allow that to sit for about two hours or longer. You want it to absorb all of that mixture, all of that good delicious syrup. Just cover it and leave it to sit for 5 minutes. I know it's tempting if you want to dig in and eat right now, but it's not ready. It's not. Now it's ready. If you notice, my balls have swollen a little. 
it sucked up most of that syrup and it looks yummy on the inside look at this look at this 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 was so delicious guys i hope you guys enjoyed it